Good morning, my name is Lucas and this is Fortis Forums. Um, welcome to the uh, today's forum. What we have today, uh, like you see behind me, you probably recognize the panel and the camera below. It's the Net2 uh, Access Control, Paxton Access Control, and the latest NPR 7 Series um, camera uh, with the Weekend connection. So let me have a look and show you there quickly. I hope I won't break it there. So that's our uh, Paxton controller. Like you see here, really small, tiny, and you've been looking through that many, many times before, wondering if this panel can actually work with the Hikvision if there's a Wigand connection. Um, yes, it does. Um, you need to have a special software for it, and the same for the Paxton. Uh, also, you need a driver. Uh, this driver, it's in the link below in the comments. Uh, you can type it in if you like as well, but it's in, um, it's in, in, in the description of the video. Um, also, there's a link for the latest firmware for the camera that will actually allow you to uh, communicate between um, a camera and, and the Paxton. Like you see here, uh, there's not much into it. Like you have three connections. You have the ground uh, D1 and a D0. Uh, the same plug you have on the um, uh, camera, you just need to connect them um, all together. Once you have them connected, uh, we're just going to have a look and see what settings do you need to change on the, sorry, not the recorder, on the camera and on the Paxton itself. Um, so let me put it back for the wire here now. You're probably gonna you're probably gonna hear some uh, beeping sound from time to time when there's a car uh, passing by my house um, because the camera will pick up the wretch and it will send information to the Paxton controller. Uh, so let me let me show you uh, where to go and what to change in the camera first. Um, I showed you this camera before. And this is exactly the same camera uh, as it's in one of my uh, videos previously. And the only difference is you can see there's a WG at the very end of this uh, model number. That will indicate that this is the Wigand connection uh, camera. So in order to connect with the Paxton, you need to have that type of the camera. And this is the latest firmware for this camera. Um, Anything else, the setup of the camera, you just do everything as usual. Um, you just have your road uh, scenery here. Um, there's nothing really, there's not much changes. Um, the only changes you need to be careful and need to make sure you have them uh, done is, you see, when you go to the road traffic, uh, there's a Wigand connection and you just need to enable that and make sure it's a SHA-1 26-bit selected. Once you have that selected and saved, that's it. Your camera, it's ready to rock. So, um, now, what would be the reason, like, why would have the camera connected to the Paxton in the first place? Like, it's a great uh, kind of tool for the Paxton if you like to have, like, you know, pack, the, the camera itself has only a whitelist and a blacklist. So if you like to enroll people to, to the camera to open a gate, you will need to import a file it might take some time, you know, not everyone is uh, like kind of uh, techy and can work with Excel. That's a different story. It's all up to the end user sometimes. Um, but if you had a Paxton on site and you have the doors and the whole infrastructure on site already, you can use the Paxton software to actually control the camera. For example, you have the camera at the main entrance, at the main gate, and you have the whole apartment building, for example, with the Paxton and every single door, it's, it's already with Paxton. So you can get that camera on the top of everything else, connect it to another controller there and uh, connect it to one network. And you can um, send a token um, of the person that is already in the database to open a gate for them, if you like. So you don't really based on whitelist and the blacklist anymore. You just create your own list and you can modify on the fly with the Paxton software. So it's really, really handy. Um, we've done it a few sites like this already. And it was uh, done with the previous cameras, with the previous generation full series cameras, but the same, this one, it's fully compliant with the Paxton 
and the later software. Uh, so let me uh, show you the actual software uh, because it's really, really straightforward. Like you see, the camera, it's done already. Uh, it's ready to go. You just need to create your zone and everything else. So once you have that, it will start picking up the regis. Um, so let me let me go ahead and log into uh, the Paxson software now. So there we are, that's our Paxton. Um, like you see here, it's a Net2 Lite version. Um, and I already set it up, the whole connections and the whole setup here, but I just like to show you step by step where to go and what to change. So obviously when you go to your door, uh, you need to make sure that your door is already uh, connected to your uh, software. That's, that's the basics, uh, it won't cover that. But once you have your door, you go and you can rename it as a Hikvision NPR. I have it here. And also for the reader number one, you have the Hikvision NPR, I name it. Really important reader type, you need to make sure you select the NPR 26 bit and Wigan reader. The same for a token data format, uh, you just have to select that. And then you just operate in mode, you select the token only. And uh, once we have that saved, that's grand. Um, we have the um, camera with the Paxton controller connected and everything should be you know, going smoothly. Uh, but on the top of that, I'd just like to show you how to integrate the camera um, from the recorder. You can connect the camera itself if you have the storage on your uh, camera, but you can also integrate your camera to, to you know, one of the cameras or multiple cameras from your recorder. So like you see here, I have the Hikvision DVR system and in order to, to, to get that page, to get this um, protocols up here, you need to install the drivers. Like I said, they're in the, in the, on the bottom of this video here. So what we need to do is just type it in the IP address of your recorder, uh, using a password, port 8000, a default port, and you just I have, you, like you see, I have one camera connected only. So I just connect my camera. I can rename the camera if like, uh, to whatever camera name is. And like you see here, if I click detect, it will automatically detect any cameras connected to this recorder and you just change the name if you like and click OK. Once you have done, have done that, the camera is enrolled to the Paxton. So not only you have the weekend connection, but you also have the camera itself uh, connected from, connected that it is connected to the recorder. Uh, so what we have here now, uh, camera integration, you see there is a camera that is uh, enrolled to our software, you just need to check the box and hit apply. So now the camera is connected to our reader number one and any reg plate that will appear on the front of the camera, the reg plate information will be sent to our, um, it will be sent to our uh, control panel. Uh, but before we go there and I show you the event list, I like to show you the user. So like you see here, I create the user already. Uh, in order to create a user, you just give it a name, obviously, blah, blah, blah. You, you put the picture if you like, uh, other, other stuff as well. You have also token. Uh, so token you see here, I create a token with my uh, reg plate of my, uh, of my car here. So once I have that reg plate entered here, that's fine. Uh, you can enter different details. Like you see the events already uh, approached the camera a few times uh, yesterday, once today as well. So you can see the, um, the event at what time I was here. Um, and you can tell if that user would be uh, validated for all day or you can change it if you like as well. Um, so go back to the users again. I'm just going to create another user. So just a uh, Photos forum. Uh, we can get the picture. So obviously, picture you can get from um, from your uh, from your PC, or you can just capture the picture from your laptop. So uh, there it is. I can just grab the picture here, and there we are. So this is me now. So you have all the details that you can enter. Probably you know that already on this stage. And um, if you work with the Paxton controllers, that's no, no difference. And um, if you go to token type, you have this vehicle number plate. Uh, so you're just going to go ahead and put the token, token number uh, if you like. So then you just add the user and that's it. So you have the two users 
Um, this user is just here. And you can just create a new token and the vehicle and just go one to one, for example, um, the one, two, three, four, five, six. So there you are. Apply those settings. So this is the token. This is the reg plate associated with this user now. Uh, so every user has its own reg plate. You can have multiple reg plates. So if someone has like an apartment building, if there's an apartment building, someone someone could have two or more cars associated with their uh, one of the residents. So you can add more tokens if you like um, to 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 the person. So it's really it's like brings that the whole uh, Hick Vision NPR to the next level, not just blacklist and whitelist. It gives you a bit more uh, what you can do with the reg plate, how you can manage them. And it's really simple, like you see. So once I have those users connected, um, I just go to my events list. So you can see the camera's picking up the regs and all the all the log is showing here. So all those access denied is showing because the cars that uh, passing by my house, they're obviously not in my database. But if I'm gonna look for my reg plate here, there is Luke and access has been granted. So I can I, I know that um, this car trigger the the relay of the um, Paxton controller and open a gate, for example. Um, if I go back, you can narrow down the search, and there's a plenty of reg plates. So every single one of them will be here. Also, those reg plates, if you have them connected to the recorder, I mean, if the camera is connected to the recorder, will be recorded. So what it, that means, if I will go with one of the recent ones, maybe, um, and try to see if there is any recordings uh, back here. You just need to be careful with that as well. Make sure the times, uh, the time frame, uh, it's exactly the same. So you can see, I can do the playback of the card that has been detected here. It's not an ideal uh, installation, um, but it's, 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 it's just for a demo purposes. So it's picking up the plate and it's reading the, uh, the, the registration of the cards, that's fine. But also it will record on your recorder all the video and you can do the playback quickly from here, not via the log page. And um, obviously you can go and use the IVMS software on top of it and do the whole thing um, with, the, with the IVMS 4200 and retrieve the reg plates and, and so on and so forth. But for the Paxton and actually viewing, uh, not the viewing, but the trigger the gate, for example, if you like to have and manage much more people and you like to have the integrated system, um, like I said, the Paxton, the old doors that you have in the apartment block and an office or, or things like that. And the INPR camera, it's ready for it. And this is seven series cameras. There's nothing to it, uh, but just to update the latest firmware that has been released last month. So, um, like you see here, it's really straightforward. It's really simple. So if you have any questions regarding the um, uh, regarding the, 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 the this kind of solution, this kind of um, setup that I have here to show, uh, like you're always welcome to call our um, sales guys. Um, they will look after you. They will uh, tell you all about the price and what do you need to set it up. Like I said, the only thing you need is a access control panel and, and the camera itself, straightforward and with a weekend connection. So when you place an order, um, make sure you're gonna mention that there's a weekend connection on the camera needed for this setup. And once you have it everything ready to go, you can give us a call. We can go through the setup with you once again, or you can watch this video again it's going to be on the website and last week um, I was talking about 100 we passed the first 100 and uh, I have the studio renewed a little bit like you see behind me just painted the wall last night and it still smells funny here with that paint um, but there the, the whole studio will be upgrading so uh, I'll see you next week uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and um, I'll try to uh, answer all your questions if you had any. Um, or you can contact our tech department. Uh, we are ready to help you. So uh, that was a quick video. Like you see, very straightforward, very easy to set up that kind of um, uh, uh, setup. So uh, if you have any uh, questions whatsoever, come back to me, uh, give us a call um, or email us. Um, so thank you very much again. 
Thank you for your time. And I see you uh, next week. Next week, I have um, something, something uh, simple, but not many people know about it. Uh, it's a local storage, how to do the backup of the recorder that you currently have on site. So I will see you next week then. Uh, thank you very much. Stay awesome as always. Take care. Bye. Thank you.